Hello and welcome back to Ayakashi Akashi. Let's begin again, shall we? <coughs> <coughs> oh god, I'm dying, guys. Talk to them, right? Oh, Zero and Ito. I can't believe I didn't talk to them. That's why I went off last night. Shit. What's this? Were you worried for Haito too, Mr. Yoinata? I guess worry is applicable, sure. It's fine. I've calmed down a bunch. Bunch. I'm really not cut out for this. Hey, you defainted too. In fact, the strange thing here is how the rest of them could bear it. Yes, indeed. Some of our classmates even think it was a dream. Plus, there are many of them who have always been interested in this sort of occult business. Yeah, even back in grade school, we did stuff like tests of courage and expeditions in the night. Sounds dangerous. Some would say you learn danger by getting hurt. That it's experience. In reality, well, I can't handle scary stuff. But I like sharing that tense excitement with everybody. Actually, when Zero's there, it's weird. It's wild how relieved I feel. You always did send me out to the front. So you don't know anything? I find people who are up to pick fights with me all day more scary. Painful and pleasant for everything. That's rough. To think when Zero himself is so nice. Like, he even slows his pace to match mine. You lack, snap, you lack, you lack stamina after all. Walking is tiring, okay? Now, does that work out for you when you're going to concerts? When it comes to that, I've got a hollow leg. Uh, or an extra pair of legs, I guess? So in addition to break a leg, there's also spare two legs? You're really mixing your sayings here. You know, Zero, you're pretty muscular. You work out? Indeed. It's important to build strength. You, always, you almost always slack off during your swimming lessons in PE, I felt. I don't teach secondary subjects, so I wasn't aware. You're a slacker when it comes to all those, eh? That's a mean way to put it. I've got terrible asthma, so I can't push myself too much. Um, I see. Can't help that. Don't want to die after all. It got worse at one point. He was in the hospital for a time. Yeah, I never expected it to get so bad so quickly. Was it some other sickness to blame? Huh, I wonder if I got cursed during a test of courage. If it were it, I should have gotten cursed too, right? No, because you're so big and muscular, you fucking idiot. No, I mean, uh, maybe? Ah, Mr. Yoinara, do you dislike the occult? Dislike? Huh, when you put it like that, maybe. Wow, it sure sounds like your job has to do with that stuff. That sender thing. Hey, which part don't you like? What do I dislike about the occult? I wonder, maybe. I'm not sure what it is. Re it really is. I don't know, but there's even humans I really don't comprehend. Indeed, deep strangers are scared. In grade school, did you ever meet a ghost during a test of courage or anything? Only kids are dressed in ghost costumes. Um, uh, did I ever? 
They feel there are things along those lines, but after the fact, it typically starts to feel like they're just imagined. Yep, that's how it goes. The scarier part for me was when my mom found out I snuck out at night and got mad. I too was yelled at upon being found out. Here in Japan, we say fathers are as scary as earthquakes, thunders, and fires. I suppose it's an era of mothers now. What about you, Mr. Yoinata? Is your wife scary? Hey, I'm single. My grandmother was harsh, though. Who are the same in having someone who's frightened me when I angered them? You may have conflicts from time to time. But try not to put too much worry on people who are thinking of you. That is true. I have to be gotten a bit, a little less mischievous since they entered middle school. Personally, you still seem pretty mischievous to me. You may only know us from middle school on, Mr. Yoinata. Mr. Yoinata. But trust that this is much preferable to our grade school se <coughs> selves. The hardships that grade schoolers teacher face must be immeasurable. Yep, yep. Time to go? Fuck yeah. Leave this kid to the library all alone. Class is over. Well then, I'm gonna go. See you later. See you later. Now then, now then, time for the usual. Just as I started towards my destination, something made me stop the light to put a tracks. Mister! Mister! Hmm? Mister! Where are you going, mister? You can't go anywhere, right, mister? Huh, you kids. Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. Is this our first time meeting? Huh? It's not, is it? Hmm, might not be the first time, maybe. Answer. No, but if I was around, this should be my first time meeting these kids. That implies they kept their memories then. Hey, you two. Huh? Well, I was thinking the children vanished again like before. Keep your eyes on them, bro. Why do you keep looking down? Seriously, what are those kids? Forget it, I'm tired. Whoa, this guy looks cool. You know again, Enju? A man wearing a fox mask and a police uniform spoke to me with a sigh. Hey, Asagiri. As usual, let me dig around a little. I don't see the old lady with you today. Because it's an urgent matter. While you're at it, write something up to give me permission to enter the archives. Even if you ought to be one of us. Even if you used to be one of us, you really ought to follow procedure. Can't I spend one of the favors I earned while I was active? I got, oh, CC4 or so left, I bet. Ah, sheesh, I get it. Get in, do your business, and get out. What a close minded man. Go hit your head on a block of tofu and die. Damn, such an unlucky day. Hey, I'm just talking to myself. Don't sweat it. Ah, sure. Well then, I'll feel free. That was really funny. These archives were where the police kept the records of any past incidents. Besides public newspapers, they also kept that the sort of information that gets sort of pressed from the public. I'm looking for cases of racist here, or students, or kids around that age, had a serious illness, or even died. It'd be fast as you could present straight to me. Don't push your luck. Normally you wouldn't even get let in here. Figures. 
Plus more than half of these have the names redacted. This stuff here does, sure. You and I won't go helping you out further without a word to my superiors. I guess not. Considering that, there's still an awful lot of secretive cases down here. You can't govern with nice words alone. Nope. This would be a lot faster if these files just had the names. Hmm, if that's the case, then you can tell me the names of those you expect you might find. I won't say I know everything, but I believe I've got a handle on at least the materials in here. Hmm, you still spend your days reading through all this stuff? Huh, comes in handy at times like this. Would it kill you to compliment me instead? The time you spend reading materials, it's time spent neglecting your duties. But anyway, this is a race against time. There are twelve. I'll list them. All. I'll list them. I'll list them all. Twelve? That sure is a lot. Don't ask my reasons. I can't even afford any time to explain. Got it. Hmm. Asagiri. What a cool design. Asagiri dug too fast, signed Then he returned to me with a single bundle of papers. Oh, look at this guy. This is about the, this is about the only one that sounded familiar. Someone John and Gregor leaving them in good con condition. Talk about the static. Right. The kid's name was Rico Pacaso. I see. So, wait, hold on. This article is from six years ago. That's right. It says she's eight, eight at the time. Hmm. Some kids grow up fast. I'm sure they can always tell the difference between an 8 year old and a 14 year old. 14, huh? That would be pushing it. Well, still might be a clue. Also, right. There's not much info left here. But I've heard that something went down related to the Etiperka conglomerate. Might be something in a locked room there, but I don't have the authority to open it. I see. I'll kick it down for you. And besides the near drama I showed you, you know I've heard a couple of those names before. Is that true? Yes. I just feel like there was something. But I have to, I'd have to check to be sure. Oh, well, I'm curious about that too. I'll go searching for cases of serious illness first. I'll assist. Seems that's it for today. So, you're narrowing it down so much, there sure are a lot of incidents. Enough that I'm all out. That I'm out at all. I'm out all day sometimes. There are many incidents, but suicides have been an issue in recent years. That's rough. Oh, do you know any incidents involving twins around age five? A boy and a girl? Now that's a bizarrely specific scope. Twins alone are rare, but I don't know of any recent cases where any fell ill or died. Right, that's fine. These ones are more important anyway. Though, I bet my notes will disappear tomorrow, so I better memorize as much as I can. Hmm? What does that mean? Just ignore that for me. If I find any info related to those familiar names, told me. I'll send it over at a later date. Within the days would be best. Toss things my way as soon as you learn them. What's got you in such a hurry? I've got a lot going around. A lot. Yeah, if you insist, I won't probe you. Things you, are, you do are on such a level that we'd never dare stick our heads into them anyway. Anyway, you've got a wonderful time for knowing what's what, you know that? Oh, sorry to intrude. See you. I can't do voices, guys. I'm sorry, I'm not a voice actor. I'm only one person. And sometimes I just forget the voices. I'm, uh, I don't know how. Alright, I'm back. Huh? You're all looking more obedient than I expected. That's because I was keeping watch of them. That's because I was keeping watch of them. I mean, I doubt many of us would dare attempt to cause a big stir in a situation like this. What were you doing, teacher? Just looking up incidents in recent cares where the cares around your age got seriously ill or were considered dead. I see. You mentioned that Ayakashi don't grow since their bodies are dead. 
That's right. Uh, but before that, what's this thing? I was trying not to laugh at that. <laughs> huh? That's the scarecrow, scarecrow that took your place, George, huh? It's a spinning image. Spinning, you say? I mean, other oh, teachers pass by a couple of times and they never noticed. Really now. So, what are we gonna do now? To put it simply, seeking the Ayakashi. Seeking the Ayakashi. So, how oh, indeed are we going to identify the Ayakashi from among us? Huh, the way to stop an Ayakashi was to identify its cause of death, right? You got it. Putting together educated guesses will nail down the cause of death. That sounds pretty difficult to me. Yeah, it's a tricky situation to be sure. It's not just how who did and how they died. Everything else, everything else is ambiguous too. Well, we need to identify them today, or someone will die. Mr. Yoinata, um, what if we can't identify them? In that case, even I'll have a hard time coping. According to Roku, sounds like he came to the classroom at some point, so I'm thinking I'll stay the night here. If I can catch sight of it, I should be able to suppress, suppress it with some rougher methods. Forceful measures, I see. Well then, it'd be a waste of time to keep prattling on about tedious stuff. Let's do a, let's hold a whodunit trial. Huh? You mean the thing where you tried to find who broke a vase or spilled to me? Perfect trick, right? We're looking for a culprit right now. Well, I know you love to use fancier words for things you like to have. Dude, there are an awful lot of mischief lovers in this class. I mean, children have more energy than anybody, right? The windows are, and the walls at the school are much too brittle. No, hero, you're just too powerful. <laughs> For a 14-year-old, fourteen year old with six one. Six three I think. Or six one. Gombi whatever his face is, six three. Well, I think the yeah, four might be easy to understand. And then as the class president, I'll direct the trial as usual. But here, 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 me. I'll direct it today. Huh? Why are you, Roku? Because I'm the one that died. I'm the one that shouldn't have any suspicion. Just think about it, Kashima Chan. Who's suspected by the whole class yet the most innocent right now? No need for any deep consideration. Who would be the victim, Sir Roku? Yes? You got it. And I should trust you because of that? Trust me, and just remember. I ever have I ever lied to you outside of some sort of game, Casual Child? I'll leave directly to Roku today. Is that alright, Mr. Yoyanana? Sure, I don't mind. Roku, try not to say any more than you have to. When have I ever said too much? All the time! That's your reply, huh? Just have to force your mouth shut. <laughs> Whoa, you tried to keep me down? Or are you talking violence? I'm saying it sounds like you're going to dry out this discussion. Relax! I'm not the type to take details on the way to my des destination. Alrighty, let's begin, yo chat. Right. Hmm. Now then, let's begin the Who Done It trial. Stand, bow, be seated. <laughs> this is nice. That's usually a purpose reserved for the class president. We're getting off topic already. I know, I know. Well, as a victim, I'll have to give my report first. Yep. Scene number 12. Scene number 12, Rogri Yamakakashi. Yamakaka Yamakagashi. Here's my report. I, on the day I went straight home, they kicked back and thought about what fun stuff I'd be doing the next day. It was even tied, as your chan would say, when suddenly my head spun. And when I came to, I was here in this classroom. And even though I totally changed the loungewear, I was wearing my uniform. And then, while well, I was thinking to myself, what happened? I was, well, it happened in a blink. My guts and everything were saying hello from out of my stomach. After that, I can only think of a single thought. Wow, I'm dead. Ah, I'm dying. Yeah, like that. A black fog covered my vision. Pain was secondary at that point. Next thing I knew, I popped out of my own body. You might not get what I'm talking about, 
But even I didn't know what was going on, and I experienced it. Then I saw it. My cruelly mutilated corpse. And Kashima-chan, standing in the back of the classroom, looking at my, my corpse just like I was. After that, my senses totally went, so it was pitch black. When I came to, I was at school with zero. Roku, what was that last part? My cruelly mutilated corpse? No, after that. Tashima Chan was there looking at the corpse with me. Why didn't you mention this before? Because I have to air it out in front of everyone like this. Investigations. It's pretty important when things get revealed, right? It's like a crime show, you know? You, choose the, you chase the corpse to a, quish, a cliff and question them there. This classroom is that cliff, yo chan. So personally, I might call it a little slice of hell. I see. So I have to report any suspicious parties offer statements. I remember absolutely nothing. So you could say, but I remember. You're sure it was Kashima. Well, she had the most friendly, icy look I'd ever seen on Kashima. Chan. With the face, the hair, the height. It had to be Kashima Chan. Yep, no doubt. I. Kashima, calm down. Stay calm and tell me as much as you can remember and what you're, about what you are doing. That's all you need to do for me right now. <sighs> yes, I understand. This is my report. Oh, statement. Okay. Scene number one. Kashmir Akabano. Give me my statement. I... On the day I went home without taking any real detours. At home, I did my homework and knit chores around the house. I ate dinner, had a bath, and got ready for tomorrow, and I slept. I believe I went to bed around 10 p.m. 10 p.m.? You guys went go to bed at 10 p.m.? What the hell? And the next day, so as you already said, Mr. Yoina, I came to school after Yuki. Yuki had collapsed. I contacted, I contacted La, and she came right away and brought you to us. That's all. Hmm. Then it'd be possible for you to attack me. It would seem Anaya Akashi attacks when they lose control of themselves. When would they regain their senses? Well, like you say, they lose control. Often, the Ayakashi won't be able to move for a while after running amok. Ah, oh, I see. So I see. In that case, in order to have done it, she would need ample time to spare. Supposing everything Kashima Chan said was just said was true, that is. I'm not telling any lies here. The last step is to get additional statements. If anyone has additional info or questions related to what these two just said, raise your hand and speak. I'm curious about Rokuru's weird like story about his death and all, but I just can't explain it. Sorry, Mr. Yoda. I didn't really do anything that day. I can't help in any way. Sorry, Mr. Yoda. I remembered it again. You might not get what I'm talking about. And even I don't know what was going on. And I experienced it. And I saw it. I have a statement on Roku. Well, I didn't, I didn't have any particular contact with those two. You know, hmm, too complicated for me now. Hmm, I lack juicy info into this info this time around. So as such, you must count on someone else. And that's Kashima. I have a simple question: Did Madame Kashima ever have a chat at some point? I um, I fainted, so I don't remember much. I got a statement about Kashima chat. Alright, let's talk. Only Roku will show it at, saw it after all. Almost seems like it'd be hard to talk about a statement affirming that story. Kuruta's right. For me, Roku's statement is probably the more difficult task. But truth be told, he was the victim. He wanted to draw connections. I should probably focus on Kashima's statement. Hmm. Since our houses are close, we always go to and from school together. 
And then he went straight home as a truth. There was no telling when it might rain again after all. Depending on the time, I believe such a thing might fill a gap that would otherwise allow her to have committed the crime. Unfortunately, however, I care enough for that kind of thing myself. Let's say you might ask someone who might have talked with her. Since we agreed to hang out the next day, I wonder what she wanted to do. So I talked to her with the chat function on the phone. Uh, of course, there's no tangible proof since time has been sent back. But I think we tried it around 6 p.m. And around 9 p.m., we even did a final confirmation of our plans. Not committed with caution that day. So, oh. And there was additional safety that should prove helpful to me. And the caution is which statement to link with you. Oh no. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, she was chatting with Kashima on the time from local gates. Ah, right. Yeah, just about what we do tomorrow. Twice. Just like Kashima Chan says, at 6 p.m., we were having a chat. And also around 9 p.m., we had another to finalize our plans. Huh, that's the truth. It might have been tough for Kashima Chan to kill me. Considering what Yoi Chan said earlier about Kai Kashi being immobile after they run wild. Of course. Even I wasn't convinced it was Takashima Chan because of the expression. Even if it looked like her. I couldn't imagine that look on the real one's face. What? You mean. What? Hey, my report was just that you were looking at my course. I never said anything like Takashima Chan must be the killer, did you I? Know? What the hell? Hold on, Takashima. Why did you mention it at all then? I was just thinking if she was the killer, it'd be nice if I could make her slip up. Oh, guess you're starting to get enemy directors, huh, you gotcha. You don't mind reading you mind reading Ayakashi or what? Uh no. Besides, can Ayakashi kill other Ayakashi? No. They couldn't life, so generally, they wouldn't attack an Ayakashi who's already lost in life. Well then, it's one hundred percent not me. Not one hundred percent, for sure. In fact, you say cling to life, are they the kind to kill again and again? Also no. Just simply, I guess I'd say they seek living bodies. Which is why, not only killing someone, but they bring in like they did here, and baffling living to me. Huh, so they just say, seek, searching for someone to take their place of. Then, what was that Kashmo wrote to saw? There is the possibility emerging that it was a, an imposter. Imposter? Sauce imposter? Imposter? There are technically Ayakashi that can alter their own appearance. But if that's the case, they didn't just lose control of themselves. They attack at least partially of their own volition. Or perhaps they create an illusion, and they have some special intelligence, but it's a third entity. There's three Ayakashis hiding with Mino? That sounds disastrous indeed. But if that were the case, I'd be curious why this is all coincided, coincided to happen at the same time. Hmm, perhaps the timing amount of Nayakashi losing control of themselves is fixed? Generally, it's said to occur after anywhere from 3 to 5 years. And I'd be real willing to buy that, that the found collaborator said it was intentional. Ah, uh, this is tough to unravel. Ah, uh, that said, I wonder why it looked like Kashmi Chan. Maybe because they figured she of all people might be liable to kill me? As if you don't think that yourself. Nah, no, I don't. The Kashima Ch Chan I know wouldn't. Because he's such a coward. It'd be impossible. <sighs> Is that it? Is that it? 
and that just gave me a thought. Are Ayakashi aware of being Ayakashi? No. Sometimes not, right? Hmm. It depends on the situation, but for in special circumstances, most don't realize it after they revive. Neither do anyone else. But most Ayakashi will eventually realize they're different from those around them due to the body not maturing. And in some cases, when they lose control, they snap out of it and find there's a corpse in front of them. At the very least, I suppose it's fair to conclude that the Ayakashi attacked Roku was aware of killing him. That's right. I think it's very likely. In that case, we come to question about why it grew around time, for instance. But bringing that up at present will just make things more confusing. Right now, I'd like to grasp a bit more about the entity, identity of the Ayakashi. Your statements are just making two parallel lines at this rate. You want, you want to get info, right, Yoichan? I was getting curious about that. Something about incidents, wasn't it? Yeah, in the past few years. And were there any cases of interest? The only one with a clear name was Riku Takaso, who experienced a near drowning in a river. Riku? True. True. I did nearly drown in a river a long time ago. But that was when I was 8 years old. If you stopped growing at 8, people would probably notice, huh? Indeed. Riku clearly looks to be the same age as us. Uh, it's a little hard to agree with someone as huge as Hiroko saying it, but. It also sounds like there's some incident with the Itu Parka conglomerate. Tina, do you, know, do you know anything about that? Oh my, I suppose you'd be referring to my father. Occupying such a high position as he does, I would no doubt he sh I would not doubt he does his share of dirty deeds to maintain it. I may offer a warning, Mr. Oinata. You may find yourself put six feet under if you dig too deeply. Ugh, you it's way too scary to see, be saying it casually. There are many things in this world you are better off not knowing, you see. Oh, crap. It's good. It's the bell. I don't know who the higher cost is. Just go home. Won't somebody die tomorrow? There's been no indication that someone will certainly die, however. But by the same token, there's no guarantee he'll be safe either. There's even a chance I'll end up like that myself. And furthermore, it's possible that the people beside us right now could be killers. Do we just have to endure this endure the suspicion and dread until they're found? And if we all split up, the story will get harder to put together. What more can we do? This is a good the fire has permeated to the room. What can we see to cover suicide? Well, guess I'll say something then. Is there anything, something else you haven't been telling us? Nah, I just thought of it now. If you're really among us, attack me again tonight, dear Ayakashi. Bruh, don't do that. Hey, now, Roku, what are you even saying? I'm just curious, plain and simple, about whether they care to listen to us. They've probably got control of themselves right now, so they understand me, right? It's not what I... Wait, in that case, you can attack me too. Ahem! <coughs> Don't worry, teacher. I have faith in my students. I won't have that reason. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. You guys don't have to do what I was going to do. So, no, you're not a really. I decided I'll save you tonight. So if you're going to attack me, attack me. Are you strong, Mr. Yoinara? Mr. Yoinara versus an Ayakashi, sure. See, if I were an Ayakashi, I definitely would have attacked Goicha. Because obviously you just get smacked down, right? I mean, look at his huge muscles. They attack you with the dead, and yeah, that's true. When they lose the control, and I can't be able to do like whatever life is in front of them. And my mother always told me I've got a tendency to attack Ayakashi because I'm a special aspect of my bloodline. I've got a powerful barrier to protect my head at home. Today, I'll be in a monkey classroom. I just hope I'll be able to see something about the Ayakashi's intentions. That's us in. Everybody go home and rest easy. As if we could feel relieved, we don't need to be sacrificed either. I'm the one getting got experience being a sacrifice, you know. So listen to your superiors. What the fuck? And if I really die, you're free to cry. You're free. You're free to cry for me again. You're free to cry for me again. I didn't cry. Calm down, Master Chan. Hey, why don't we all head home together and leave part of the way? Sure. Indeed, that may be a good idea. 
I suppose that might be to use our minds a bit. See you, Mr. Yoinana. Right. After Roku's remarks, the student's early unrest appeared to have been diminished and formed slightly. By no means was anything certain, or maybe they felt the chances of me being attacked had lessened. As ironic as that may sound. Now, here begins the real battle. Oh my god! Your time! Just as I sat down to think about tonight, I hear a voice very near nightmare. Whoa, it's not. Need something? Huh? Yeah, but it's fun to say goodbye to people, right? Playing at school now sounds like a difficult time. Also, I'm your teacher. Whoa, what do I even say to that? Good for you? Oh, Grace? Yep, Grace! Like okay, that, Bill's. Oh dear me. Let's see if such uncouth people even do it like it. Do not speak like that. You are amazing, teacher. Amazing. Whoa, look at this. I know. Oh, cool. Still, no, I gotta say. Still, you have to If you are friendly, you have to really go. Does it doesn't look like we should be? I would say that. The truth. Once that one thing, yeah, we might not have even talked. That one thing. Ah, that'd be a long story. Let's we'll put that story aside for now. What I can say for sure is, I respect Zero a lot. And I too respect him. Got a deeper bond than I would have expected. We've been friends since grade school, I hope. We sure have been. There's only the one elementary school in this area, though. Anyway, still getting ideas about breaking the school. Take care of going home. Okay, Peach. You be careful you don't get attacked by a ghost instead of an Ayakashi. See you, see you later. Okay. I'm gonna have more tasks on my plate for tonight. Ouch, my ears. What the fuck? I went and bowed my head at the principal. Then with the claim that I keep watching you that they're being lots of mischief lately, I got permission to stay at the night. As a matter of fact, though, that had plenty of damages caused by wild animals. At night, the feeling of this building really turns into something eerie, huh? With the grave by nearby to boot. 11 p.m. had already passed, but I hadn't even seen a truth at the moment. I was concerned whether it would be. The incarnation has too much energy. Energy, like a cocaine or something. But if I haven't seen him yet, maybe that was the biggest worry. Still, should I look around somewhere? In addition to the staff room and the library, first of all, all the classroom groups were all the way. Of course, since there was only one classroom for each grade, I didn't feel all that cramped. At worst, since there are many energy tubes, the halls could get a little noisy come summer break. The sound of the night just further, further brings out the eeriness. The thought slipped out my mouth as I left over the new left desk and chairs. Without occupants, he felt oddly lifeless. The draft is so, so noisy too, but it's just a thing for those human rainy nights. Oh. As I was taking a step, the floor gave way. It happened so suddenly that I let out a pitiful yell. Oh. I better let the principal know, because when it's time to get around, I don't always make sure from the hole and make sure I haven't come to the door. Oh my god! Huh? As I glanced towards the hole, I saw something peering at me. But as soon as I blinked, not only the eyes, but the hole itself had completely vanished from the spot. That scared me, what the hell? Was that just my imagination? I'll go back to the second year classroom. <laughs> Should I put you on next?
Oh, my ears. That scared me. Oh. Oh, my God. Black lines. No. My worst nightmare. What uh, Mr. Yoinara? Uh, are you okay? You look like you're having a nightmare. You're sweating a ton, Mr. Yoinara. Did you really stay in the classroom? It's so human lately. What happened? What happened? What time is it? Um, about 8.30 a.m. Mr. Yoinara, water. Uh, I excuse you. Stay, Marty. Yeah, yeah, it is. There's no hand corpse. I see. Shoulders wet in the nothing had happened. See me, Mr. Yoinara, but well of course, I'm relieved to see you unhurt. Are you the only ones here as a boy right now? Yeah, we are. We just got here before we did. I have to replace the water for the flowers, that's why. I got here after all, I think. Have you seen any contacts in the other states? Uh, no, not really. Maybe we should head outside. Morning, Mr. Mr. Yohainana, morning! Hey, good morning. Just as I got to my feet, the other students filed into the classroom. It's almost time to begin our morning homework. Phew, that's some pins and needles. It's only natural to be after a thing like that happened. I was a little scared to I was a little scared to come too. The rain had grown even stronger than yesterday as well. I straight up overslept. Mino too. Let's see. First of all, take your seats. Now we Mr. Yoinata, something smells funny. I've been in this class from yesterday and haven't bathed either. Didn't mean you, Mr. Yoinata. It's from there. There? The cleaning supplies were kept. S smell? What kind of smell? Just the smell of rain? Nothing at all like rain. Wordlessly, I approached the locker. As I put my hand on the locker, sweat ran down it. There's still someone missing from this classroom. Kashima. Came falling out of the locker. I hurried to catch her, but like went through the day before, the body was covered with bruises and bones. Yeah. Hey, Yuki and Ito fainted. Mr. Oyinara, is Kashima dead? Must be to be asked. It's all too clear to see. But Mr. Oyinara stayed here all night. When we arrived, he passed out. Yeah, that's true. Hey, there's something written on the back of the lock door. On the back. It says company art. Writing it in art is such a good taste. What do you want? Mr. Moynihan. Ow! Ow! I love that sound though. Someone's coming. Carrying my momentum for money, I barge into the classroom. The students all turn to face me with surprised expressions. Mr. Yoinana. It looks to me like things got set back again. If that's the case, everyone should already be at school. Kashima's not here. Kashima. If you seek Madame Kashima, she probably run out of Kashima. I'm not I'm not aware where she may have gone. <laughs> Mino knows Kashima's friend. Do you? Then please. Oh, oh. Uh, what's that? You know that's supposed to be about? You know, she can have some natural ending question on her now. Huh? That's it, no? See, what you know. What a fitting place to end the episode. Oh, wait. It wasn't joking when I said this was horror, huh? And eyes out of nowhere, black lines. This is holy. 
All right. Well, then, that was it for this episode of my Akashi Akashi. Oh, my God. So, it seems like almost every one of the students are going to die at some point. I hope Mino doesn't die. She's really cute. But what if Mino is the killer? Oh. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll see you guys again in the next episode of Akashi Akashi. As always, bye-bye.